Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Today is a very exciting day for all the Quest owners or for those people who want to get the Quest on Black Friday or for Christmas because today Oculus Link goes into beta. What is Oculus Link? Well, with Oculus Link you can play all the Rift and Rift S games on your Quest and you do so by plugging in a USB cable and connecting it with your gaming PC that of course should be able to run Rift games in the first place. And well, it works since today, not for all the GPUs. If you own an AMD graphics card, then you will not be happy because this is not going to work. Also, it's not going to work for all the Nvidia cards, but for the most for most of them it will work and check out the list in the comment, not in the comment section, in the section below because there I'm going to put all of the GPUs that will be able to run Oculus Link. So what else do you need? You also need a USB cable and very important, you need a USB 3 cable. So the one that came with your Oculus Quest is not going to work. That's really unfortunate, but this is only a USB 2.0 cable, so not enough throughput. You do need a USB 3.0 or better 3.1 or 3.2 cable and then it's going to work. And Oculus has said that a certain cable from Anchor that you can buy from Amazon, the link down in the, in the, not in the comment section, down in the description of this video, this one is going to work. And well, of course, I wanted to try this out for you and I didn't have time to wait until tomorrow until Amazon's going to give me that cable. So I went into the big electronics store here and I got this here, two cables because they didn't have one long USB 3.0 cable. So I had to buy one short one meter USB 3.1 cable and one extension cable USB 3.0. And this is USB C to USB A and this is a USB A extension cord which goes into my computer. So I hope that this is going to work. I'm going to try this out in this video and I'm going to let you know if everything works, what you have to do to make it happen and I'm going to let you know if it works, how well it works. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. So if you just got your quest or if you want to get it or if you're already using VR headsets since a long time, this is your channel because I'm giving you unbiased and honest reviews of the latest hardware, games and also the latest news. So if this is your cup of tea, then why don't you subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. But now let's check out if this here works. All right, so the blue extension cord, I put it into one of my USB 3 ports on the computer and this shorter cable, this USB 3.1 cable A to C, I'm plugging in here and the C part of course goes into the Oculus Quest and at this moment the Oculus Quest is already turned on. So the big moment of truth, putting it in and this is what happened on my desktop. So it says set up Oculus Link in German language. As you know, I'm here in Germany and it says connect your headset and the red cross on the top right, it tells me unfortunately my cable is not fast enough or the port is not fast enough. So I tried all the ports. I'm telling you all the USB 3 ports, I tried them and then the last port it actually did work and in the end of the video I'm going to tell you which port and which PCI Express card worked for me. So this says finished the Oculus Link setup and I should put on the headset now. In the headset I had to click one button as in I allow Oculus Link and then I could actually see Oculus Home. Unfortunately I could not record this because the Oculus Link mirror that I normally use to record Rift S footage it didn't work. So I started Steam VR and yes you can play all your Steam VR games. Here I am in Steam VR checking the tracking, checking if occlusion is a problem now. No, no problem at all. The tracking is just as good 
as in the Rift S or in the Quest, of course, since it's still the Quest. But everything works perfectly fine. And yes, you can play all of your Steam VR games next to all of your Oculus games. So here I am trying out Beat Saber. And of course, directly I saw the nice black levels. Super nice, super wonderful. And now directly getting into the game here. So did it work great? Did I feel any latency? No, I didn't feel any latency and I could perfectly, perfectly play Beat Saber. If you're wondering why actually myself here in this video, why the actions that I do are later than the actions in the VR game, that has to do with my camera setup. There is some latency, but this latency has nothing to do with the Oculus Link. This has only to do with my recording setup. So actually in the game, everything was perfect. There was really absolutely no latency and I could play Beat Saber as if I would play it on the Quest. Big win for Oculus Link. Then I tried another game. I tried Doom VFR, one of my favorite games in virtual reality. And I can just tell you, yes. It feels so good to play this game on Quest finally. For all those of the Quest users who always want to play Doom VFR, now you can without lag, without any problems. It just felt right and it's such a good game. It's such an amazing game. You should totally pick this one up. So no problems with the graphics, no problems with latency, no problems with the tracking. I felt as if I was playing that, let's say, on the Vive Pro, because the Vive Pro has exactly the same displays like the Quest. Really, really nice. All right, all right, I'm really happy. It did work with this one meter cable and the three meter cable extension. Again, both cables are at least USB 3.0, so that's really important. You cannot just use any USB 2.0 extension. It will not work. And I tried it on all my ports and on most ports it didn't work, but then on one port it did work. So that was really great. And I'm telling you which port it was. I use, I'm using a PCI Express card, the Inatech five ports USB 3.0 um, card, extension card. <laughs> and I'm going to link the extension card, this PCI card, that will give you five additional USB 3.0 ports. I'm going to put the link to Amazon down in the description below so that you can also get this one because this one does work. I have just checked it out. Again, all the other ports did not work for me. Then I tried out Stormland. That's the first thing I tried and it worked perfectly fine. Unfortunately, I couldn't, I couldn't record any footage because the Oculus Link Mirror that I normally use to record my Oculus Rift footage, it didn't work for some reason. So that's why I couldn't show you how I play Stormland with the Quest, but I can tell you, yes, it works. It works like a charm. It looks amazing. I couldn't see any latency. It simply looked as if I was playing it in the Rift S, but with better colors since it's an OLED display, but in terms of sharpness, the Rift S would still win, in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you why that's probably the case a bit later in this video. So this works really, really well, amazing. Then I tried Steam VR games. I played Beat Saber, and this, this one I could show you, and I also played Doom VFR. Both work great, so all the Steam VR games are going to work just like on the Rift S. That is fantastic news. So now with your Quest, and with a USB 3.0 cable, better USB 3.1 or 3.2, <laughs> you will be able to play all your PC VR games, which is amazing and which makes this headset even better. Wow, really impressive. So, Mr. John Carmack, you've done an amazing job again. So sad that you are not the full CTO of Oculus anymore. Probably this was your last masterpiece, yeah. So. Wow, incredible. This works so well. And this is even just the better version, right? So fantastic. So um, in terms of latency, again, I couldn't see any, any problem. It was just as good as if I was playing the Rift S. And um, yeah, for the tracking with occlusion, everything is just as good as Rift S and Quest. So way better than the Cosmos, of course. <laughs> I must say that, unfortunately. 
and also better than the Windows Mixed Reality tracking. Really, really nice inside-out tracking. Wow, great. Then also, what can I tell you? The, yeah, the, the picture quality, it looked really great. The colors again. And for the sharpness, I would st still say the Rift S looks better because it has this RGB stripe matrix where each sub where each pixel is represented represented by three sub pixels, and for for this display here, each pixel is displayed with two sub pixels pentile the pentile matrix and well it reminded me very much of the Vive Pro, yeah no there's really no um, surprises here because this is basically the Vive Pro display in the Quest. So yeah, this is how it looks. It looks good, great colors. You do see this pentile uh, matrix more than I see the RGB stripe matrix on the Rift S. So that's why I would say the picture looks a bit clearer on the Rift S, but we do have a higher, um, a higher resolution here. So it does make up for that and both really look nice. And it was just so much fun to play Stormland on the Quest and to play all the other Steam VR titles. It works great, so yes, this even makes the Quest better than it was before. Before, yes, you could play all the Quest titles, but now you can also play all of the Rift and Steam VR titles. Wow, so this is an amazing headset. And if you don't have the Quest yet, I can totally recommend it to get it now for Black Friday or for, for Christmas. I think this is going to be the Christmas present 2019. It's wireless. You can still hook it up to the PC, probably with nicer cables than what I have here. But for the first test, I'm impressed that even this worked on my computer. Yeah, so this is a very positive conclusion here for my first test with Oculus Link. If you have any questions about Oculus Link, why don't you put them down in the comment section? I'd be very happy to answer all of your questions. And yeah, let's start a conversation here about the Quest. Are you going to get the Quest now? And yeah, if you have the Rift S, are you going to get the Quest on top? Do let me know in the comment section below. All right, at the end of this video, I would like to say a big thank you to all my supporters who are making this channel happen so that I can buy cables like this, <laughs> and that I can buy the Oculus Link cable in the future. Thank you to all my Patreons. And if you also want to support this channel and get more background information, you can do so on MRTVElite.com. For only $3, you get so much more information and behind the scenes videos. Also, of course, a big thank you to the three MRTV champions who are ModiCap, offering the amazing sound kit for the Quest and the Rift S modding Sennheiser headphones to your headset. Then, thank you to Human Eyes, offering the amazing Views XR 3D 180 degrees camera, my favorite VR camera. And of course, VR Cover, makers of the best hygiene solutions for our headsets. Thank you so much. And that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.